Okay, so this is the Rad Power Bikes Rad Runner. And something a lot of you are probably going to want to know is what the top speed of this is and what the acceleration is like and how long the battery lasts. So the top speed of this bike is around 20 miles an hour. That's what they say on the website. And I'll demonstrate now what the acceleration is like. Here we go. So I won't pedal at all. I'll just pull the throttle, which is here on the handlebar. Pull that back and this should give you an idea of how fast it is. So the Rad Power Bike Rad Runner can go up to 45 miles on one charge, so that is very much dependent on how you're using the bike. If you're using pedal assist, um, that's these settings here. Uh, so you can turn that all the way up and uh, you can pedal the same amount of power, but it will just feed much more power from the battery to your speed. So the higher you've got that, the less the battery is going to last. And that's the same for if you're literally riding this bike with the throttle, not doing any pedaling, then you're probably going to get around 20 miles, I'd say. Whoop! <laughs> so the Rad Power Bike Rad Runner comes in two different colours. I've got the black one here, and Helen, who's filming, has a really nice forest green colour here. And she's got a few different additional extras that you can bolt on and buy additionally on the website. So she's got this front basket here, which is really cool if you're going shopping, you need to put your shopping on there. She's also got this back seat, which turns the bike into a two-seater bike. So if you've got a friend or a partner who wants to ride with you, that's awesome. And here, these are little additional things that come with it, are the foot stands for your second rider. So they flip down like that and then they flip back up out of the way when you're not using them. And then some additional features that I've added to my Rad Runner bike is this central storage unit, which is awesome because I think it looks like a, one of the old Honda motorcycles where you put fuel. Uh, but actually, what's on top is a cup holder. And inside, you have extra storage. So I've just got my helmet in there right now whilst I'm not riding. really nice cool feature on the front I've also added this protector which is a kind of like a mud flap thing so that stops any mud or dirt coming up on me when I'm riding it there's also one for the back comes with the front but I haven't installed that because I think it looks pretty cool without I've got kickstands as well and a second seat for the additional rider hey guys Apologies for the change of scenery, but rain got in the microphone, so I'm having to reshoot a few of these shots. Anyway, where was I? I think I was about to tell you about the dials on the Rad Runner. So, looking at the handlebars, here you've got a nice little bell. That's quite cute. Uh, on the dial here, this is where you've got the pedal assist settings. So, if you were to have this on zero here, then it would just be like pedaling a normal bike um, but you turn it all the way up to four and you're going to start going super quick without actually pedaling or hardly putting any effort in at all so that's really nice if you're going uphill or you don't want to get too sweaty this is your overall battery power so that's how much juice you've got left in your battery that's important to look at then you have a light so this is the light switch here that's really nice that this actually comes with the bike so you don't have to worry about buying lights as an extra feature um, looking towards the back as well there's a rear light there and it actually works as a brake light that's me pushing the brakes extra safety feature when you're on the road this is where the throttle is so I've got the bike on the kickstand, so it's not going to zo go zooming off. Look at the bike, the wheels. 
took me a while at first to know where to plug this in to the power cord that comes with it but if you look at the top of the battery pack on the other side there's a little socket there that's where you plug it in and charge it takes about around five hours to do a full charge that's quite a long time but i guess you would expect it for such a big battery pack this bike is totally awesome it's so much fun to ride it puts a huge smile on my face and Helen's the same, she's smiling behind the camera because I remember the first time when she pulled back the throttle and had a go on this bike, she was so, so happy. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's great. It's relatively inexpensive as well, so if you don't have all that much money, then you can get hold of the base model of the Rad Runner and then add on the additional extras if you want to make it more of a utility bike, so you can add a basket, add an extra seat for an additional rider center storage unit here as well there's, there's so many different things things that i didn't get that are also on our website so if you're in the market for an electric bike definitely go check out the rabbit on it's so much fun thanks for watching guys if you want to see more videos like this definitely subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get notified whenever we put out new posts see you next time